Hey everyone, so it's time for my episode 3 of the 7th series Doctor Who review, A Town Called Mercy. And I was kind of looking forward to this, I'm quite a fan of the westerns, your classical westerns. I have studied them briefly, I love western novels, I love the films, I just love westerns. But at the same time, I kind of thought the American Doctor Who episodes are never as good as, you know, the British ones. Um, or, you know, the ones set in outer space. And a couple of people did say that to me on Twitter when I asked for, you know, what do people think. But having watched it, I can say I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought, but at the same time, not as much as I thought. It's very odd. The American aspect of it didn't really bother me as much as I thought it was going to. The plot, I didn't think was that good, but at the same time, it felt like a proper Doctor Who episode rather than one that's been a long chain. As I said before, most of Series 6 felt like one giant connector episode, which was an, really, really annoying. So we've been given quite a few individual episodes just now, which I'm sure are linked at a deeper level, but they don't on the surface appear linked. So I kind of liked it, but I kind of didn't at the same time. Um, so do the Doctor obviously finds himself um, in his classic Western scenario where he basically has to become the sheriff and save the, save the, save the town, which is your basic classic Western formation. I kind of expected that to happen. Of course, there is a massive twist here. There is a cyborg in involved. And the character of the cyborg I find very interesting. Obviously you feel sorry for him, but at the same time you're not... you kind of like, am I supposed to feel sorry for him? Is this normal? Am I, you know, am I a little bit strange feeling sorry for him? It, it plays with your emotions a lot, which is what I like. And obviously it's, when you're watching it, it's confusing in a good way. So, you know, credit to it, I really like that character. And I didn't think I would have done if you said to me, the Doctor Who's next you know, problem he has to face is a cyborg. I kind of thought not really going to like that aspect of it. I prefer your creatures that are a little bit more original and specific to Doctor Who in that sense. But no, it worked really, really well. Very pleased with that. So the, the setting for it is great. The actual fact that it sticks to your classic Western is great. The presence of the cyborg is great. Then we come to Kyler Jax. Um, didn't like him, I didn't, and it wasn't even a love to hate, I just didn't enjoy the character at all. I think the character was pretty developed, I, I, I enjoyed the darkness of his past and how that was unravelled, and the fact that we still don't know all the details, um, you know, so we're not giving away, not everything is given away, so that I think is nice, but just the character, something about him, I, I didn't connect with him, I didn't think he was that fascinating wasn't watching it thinking, ooh, I hope he comes back in another episode, you know? I, I, I wasn't bothered. I didn't want to really learn more about his history. I liked the way it was given, but I, don't, I didn't really care, you know? So, it's not really an issue, but it's not something that I found particularly fascinating. Uh, what I did like about this, and I mean this in the... I, I didn't like it, but I did. The Doctor, we got to see a very aggressive side of him, and that seems to be coming out a lot more. You know, with Eccleston's Doctor, he was quite, you know, moody on the surface. Um, David's Doctor was just full of life, and Matt's Doctor initially was like a puppy dog. But now we are getting to start to see a lot more serious side of him, and this side that is sparked by him travelling traveling on his own for many, many years, and, you know, having so much hatred in him, and realising the amount of people he's killed and things along the way. That... This aggressive side is horrible to watch. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. But I love the complexity that it brings to each episode. We have seen it a few times now. And I, it, it makes me worried that w where it's going to end up. And also how the next Doctor is going to be able to carry that on as well. Um, I mean, David's character kind of touched upon it, but not to the extent that Matt's has. And I haven't got a clue pre and how that worked or anything. So yeah, this aggressive side I find quite hard to watch but really enjoyable at the same time so I'm pleased we're getting a bit more of that uh, but that's pretty much all the notes I made there was nothing in this which jumped out as being fantastic pleased it wasn't a two-parter but there were elements that I enjoyed I enjoyed the western aspect of it I enjoyed the fact that it was set in America a lot more than what I thought I was gonna the cyborg I enjoyed more than I thought I just didn't think the plot itself was overly compelling it wasn't a scary episode it wasn't a gripping episode the first when, at about 25 minutes in, something happened which could have been the climax of the episode, to be honest. Um, and then I looked at the time and I thought, there's still like another 20 minutes to go. How? So while the first 25 minutes went kind of fast, it, did, it kind of was like a full episode at the same time. 
and then the other 20 minutes were kind of like just, you know, fluff, really. So it, w it was alright. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I definitely did enjoy it. I will only ever watch it again if it happens to be on TV. I will not go and seek out this episode again, unless for some reason I change my opinions completely on life. Um, but it's not one of my favourites and it never will be. But to watch, it was enjoyable. Next week, um, kind of sounds like Amy's choice. I'm sure it won't be anything like that. I'm positive it won't be because they won't do that. Fingers crossed. But next week with the whole double lives and having to choose, um, does kind of sound like Amy's Choice. I know Amy's Choice was slightly different and looked a little bit more sinister. Uh, next week's looks a lot more amusing, especially from Arthur Darvel. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Arthur Darvel wearing nothing but his underwear and a t-shirt. Yeah, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on A Town Called Mercy. I am looking forward to next week's, if not just to see um, how much of Amy's Choice it's like. But then we are coming to the end, which is really upsetting, but... Never mind, I'm going to not think about that. Let me know your thoughts on this one and I'll see you all next time. Bye.